Both uh, Rachel and I experienced Durif in America, uh, where they call it Petit Syrah. And we thought the grape had amazing potential, fantastic color, fantastic acid, fantastic tannin. And we were really keen when we came back to Australia to plant this grape in our vineyards, only to discover when we returned, it didn't exist in Western Australia. With the West Australian Vine Improvement Association's help, we managed to uh, bring the variety into the state and get a hold of the only available rootling to industry. Um, my parents joked that this one vine rootling was like our first child and every day we went out to, to tend this one vine to make sure it wasn't knocked off by any rabbits or anything else. And uh, rather than say, I'm off to see the Durif vine, darling, um, we just said, I'm off to see Dudley. And the name stuck and eight years later when we released uh, our first Durif table wine, we decided to call him Dudley Durif. So after uh, maceration and fermentation, we put the durif into oak uh, for a period of 18 months, uh, primarily to soften and mature this wine. We didn't put it anywhere near new oak. I think the grape variety has enough uh, tannin by itself and we don't want to uh, add to that or go into excess by adding oak tannins to that, that formula. In the winery, the first thing that, that really strikes you about durif is the colour. Um, from the moment you crush these grapes, it just bleeds black colour. It looks like Vegemite and it stains your hands black and it stains all the equipment black and it's just awesome. And uh, we do everything we can to, to control the extraction of tannins in this wine to make sure it's not just a, an overbearing monster and um, we don't have much success. It's just the way Durif loves to be. Uh, so we let it run with it and we try and make a, a big, bold, a dry red from this grape. Obviously as a full body dry red this wine will handle heavy meat dishes very well and it's really begging for a rich full body juicy steak. With such a, a full body dry red long term settling is definitely the go and we're talking 10 years plus.